What's good sports gamers and today I'm going to bring you some tutorial vids to help improve your game in NBA Live 19 and we're going to start with the passing and to show you when certain types of passes make sense over others and which ones are pointless. So right, let's get it. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. To start off is the bounce pass. And to pull this off, you aim the left stick where you want the ball to go, then tap the circle button on PS4 and the B button on Xbox. You want to utilize these when players have a possible lane to the hoop so you can lead them towards the basket and make it harder for the defender in between you two to deflect it. And you can also use it on entry passes to the post if you're afraid of a defender who's guarding you might steal the pass if you throw it regularly. Next is Icon Passing. To Icon Pass, you hold R1 or RB on your controller and then hit the icon above the player's head. This is the safer of the two ways that involves your icons to pass, because if two players happen to be in the same area, it's still going to go to the guy you want. But you are sacrificing speed to be more precise. And when I mean Icon Passing is sacrificing speed, it's because of Freestyle Passing. Which you begin the same way you do for icon passing, which is to hold R1 or RB. But instead of hitting the icon of the player you want, you simply aim the stick in the direction of the player instead. So passes can get to guys a lot faster because all you're doing is aiming where you want the ball to go. And I prefer this over icon passing every day. Next is passing the players closest to the rim, which you can perform by double tapping R1 or RB on your controller. Now this obviously is crucial when you suddenly have a guy break free towards the hoop and because of how the players are lined up you might pass to the wrong dude if you do a regular pass or a freestyle even. While closest to the rim simply judges the proximity each player is to the hoop and if you time it right you can deliver a strike. Now to perform flashy passes you aim the left stick at your target and double tap circle or B on your controller. I normally don't do these unless I want to piss somebody off or if I'm about 30 or something, but do as you wish. And the better the passer, obviously the more on target these passes are. Now for live passes, they best come in handy on the fast break because of the high trajectory it's harder to deflect if a defender is trying to play the passing lane. And you perform it by tapping triangle or Y on your controller. Next are touch passes. And to perform a touch pass, you hit X or A after you throw a pass to your target and he will get rid of it instantly. It's used in real life to beat rotations because of how fast the guy tosses the ball to the next guy before the defender can get there. But you will probably, in the video game, only use it if you accidentally throw a pass to the wrong player at first. Next up are dribble handoffs. Which is one of my favorite type of passes because it transitions into the recipient, sometimes getting ahead of steam to either pull up or drop to the basket. And the only thing you have to do is aim the left stick at who you want to do it with or move towards them and then hold circle or B on your controller. For alley-oops, you double tap triangle or Y to quickly perform a new. If you hold it for too long though, the ball handler will do a live pass and the player won't flush it down. These oops you're seeing now are obviously performed on lower difficulty, so you don't want to throw them in heavy traffic as often as this, as they're mostly successful when you have a player with a wide open lane, mainly on a fast break. And lastly is the self alley -oop. And to oop to yourself, you first have to let go of turbo if you were using it, then type triangle or wire your controller, then square if you're on PS4, and X on Xbox. This is tricky to pull off, but remember to lay off turbo and make sure you also have enough room to perform the move. So you want to start it at about the free throw line to have the highest chance of pulling it off. You can drive in from either wing or towards the middle to perform this move as well. Sorry sports gamers, hope this video was able to help you out and stay tuned here for our pick and roll and dribbling tutorials in NBA Live 19 coming soon. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris, thank y'all for watching, and be good y'all.